Fuel Cloud and Dockmaster are pleased to introduce the simplest and most powerful solution to your marina fuel management and accounting needs. Simply install the Fuel Cloud system on your tanks along with our app based authorization system and you can begin pumping immediately. You can use Fuel Cloud's full feature set to provide a broad and extensive overview of your entire fuel program. The system allows marinas to have complete inventory tracking, custom reporting, and even automates fuel tax refunds. Use our app-based system to authorize and track fuel sales and collect any desired custom data simply, quickly, and in real time. The transaction information is immediately transmitted back to the Fuel Cloud website. When you are ready to bill the customer, open the Dockmaster point of sale and directly import your fuel transactions from Fuel Cloud. All relevant data collected at the pump, including gallons, price, customer, and boat information, are transferred into the Dockmaster point of sale. You may add other non-fuel items to the order or continue with settlement. Fuel transactions are stored and saved as they come in and can be invoiced in whatever order you choose, meaning dock hands are free to fuel as fast as they can without lines at the point of sale slowing them down. All data is available in real time and wirelessly transferred from your fueling dock to wherever your point of sale is located. House account fueling data is stored in Fuel Cloud as well as Dockmaster, allowing for easy fuel reporting for your important recurring customers. Contact either Fuel Cloud or Dockmaster to learn more or purchase today. This video will instruct the Dockmaster mobile app user on how to use the time clock function. Dockmaster offers two ways to log technician time to a work order. A tech can choose to enter time to a work order using the time clock function or the time entry function. To use the time clock, tap time clock from the menu. Before clocking in, a work order and opcode must be entered. If the work order number is already known, simply key it into the work order field. Otherwise, a search can be initiated by entering a customer or boat name or a partial name, then tapping the magnifying glass icon. Tap once to select a work order and the number will populate the field on the time clock form. An opcode must also be selected. If known, simply key into the field. If not, tapping the magnifying glass icon will display only those opcodes assigned to that work order. Tap once to add it to the form. Notes may be added now or at a later time. To start the clock, tap the green clock in button. You can only be clocked in to one opcode at a time. Logging out of the app when clocked in will not affect the time clock. When ready to clock out, migrate to the time clock menu item. Prior to clocking out, notes can be added or updated. If labor for this opcode is complete, slide the labor finished button. This will mark the opcode entry on the work order as labor finished for information purposes. To stop the clock, which will complete the time clock entry, tap the red clock out button. Located on the bottom right of the time clock screen is the time card icon, used to switch to the time card view. The time card view is a second form accessible from the time clock, whether clocked in or not. This form displays all time entries for the selected day, including the opcode which is currently clocked in. To view time entries from the current day or previous days, tap the time card icon. The first view of the time card will be the current day. To select another date, tap the date field at the top left. A date picker will display, allowing a selection of prior dates. If there are no time entries for the date selected, a message will display, informing the user that no time card was found. Tap OK and either choose another date or go to the menu and select any other option. Please be sure to watch our other instructional videos for Dockmaster Mobile. And for additional resources, please visit dockmaster.com.
video will instruct the DocMaster mobile app user on how to use the time entry function. DocMaster offers two ways to log technician time to a work order. A tech can choose to enter time to a work order using the time clock function or the time entry function. To use time entry, press time entry from the menu. Before creating a time entry, a work order and opcode must be entered. Depending on the setup of the service parameters for your company, the time entry screen will be one of two forms. This entry is demonstrated with Enter Hours set as checked. If the work order number is already known, simply key it into the work order field. Otherwise, a search can be initiated by entering a customer or boat name or a partial name, then tapping the magnifying glass icon. Tap once to select a work order and the number will populate the field on the time entry form. An opcode must also be selected. If known, simply key into the field. If not, tapping the magnifying glass icon will display only those opcodes assigned to that work order. Tap once to add it to the form. Enter the amount of time worked on this opcode. Notes may be added now or at a later time. Click Save to complete the time entry. Located on the bottom right of the time entry screen is the time card icon used to switch to the time card. The time card is a second form accessible from time entry. This form displays all time entries for the selected day. It is here that a technician can display, edit, or delete time entries. Double tapping on a time entry opens up the selection menu. The first view of the time card will be the current day. When display entry detail is selected, all of the details for that time entry are displayed. When edit time entry is selected, the date and time or labor hours and the notes for that time entry can be changed. When delete time entry is selected, the entry can be removed completely. If there are no time entries for the date selected, a message will display informing the user that no time card was found. Tap OK and either choose another date or go to the menu and select any other option. To view time entries with other dates, tap the date field at the top left. A date picker will display, allowing a selection of prior dates. Please be sure to watch our other instructional videos for DocMaster Mobile. And for additional resources, please visit DocMaster.com.
bag. Wow, nothing to it, cheap. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Kyle from Trade Winds Marine Center here in Antioch, Illinois. It's a family run business. Your boat is broken, we can fix it. This is all I've ever known. The marine industry is everything I know and love. Oftentimes, we'll come across dead batteries after boats are sitting, customers leave them in the water, bilge pumps get left on, things of the sort. Every so often we do have to go out on the water and what we call rescue a boater. Uh, in the past we've always had standard jump packs which depending on who used it last, it's almost always dead. Then after that in an emergency you have to use a set of jumper cables and a battery which just isn't convenient. Mini HD is nothing short of impressive, especially compared to the things that we've used in the past. It blows everything else out of the water. Jump starter says to me that it has batteries, it needs maintenance, it could fail, it needs to be charged all the time. The Mini HD is a, being a capacitor is so much more than that. The Mini HD recharges in a matter of seconds. Lightweight, it's waterproof, and it floats. To use the Mini HD, it's very simple. You want to return the boat to neutral, always. Uh, make sure the throttle is set all the way back. Hook up the Mini HD as normal. Flip the switch and go ahead and start the boat, the boat as normal. And every time it works. We have to jump start boats at least a few times a week and now with the Mini HD it's nice to be able to rely on something that's always there. My favorite thing is still how impressive the Mini HD is power wise over anything else. I would absolutely recommend the Mini HD to anybody else.
In today's business environment, more and more companies are moving to the cloud. That's why Scribble Software is proud to unveil our new cloud-based marina management solution, MarinaGo Office, and its point-of-sale module, MarinaGo POS. With a user-friendly interface, advanced reservations with the most cutting-edge AI on the market, and integration with QuickBooks and Google Maps, MarinaGo Office is the next generation of marina management. MarinaGo Office makes managing multiple properties easier. Whether you manage and operate a single marina property or thousands, MarinaGo's modern user interface incorporates all your properties within your central company identity. That means you can connect customers between marinas and run audit reports all from one central location. With the MarinaGo POS add-on module, you can handle transactions with a never-before-seen level of efficiency. This means processing all kinds of payments, cloud printing receipts with the new StarCloud print technology, and much more, all customizable to suit the needs of your marina. And the best part? You can log into your MarinaGo portal from any web accessible computer anywhere. That means you can run the day to day operations of your marina in the office. From the palm of your hand. Or even from the comfort of your own home. At Scribble Software, we believe in only the best for our customers. That's why MarinaGo Office won the Boating Industry 2018 Top Products Award for its innovation and contribution to the industry. So why wait? Contact Scribble Software today and join us in the cloud.